what do we have we have two cars colliding right so to understand this uh, excluded volume or this volume correction term right we have to view everything from an ideal perspective what is the ideal perspective we have to assume the particles to be point masses but the particles actually are real so the particles are actually not point masses that is why we are starting with this analogy so what i want you to do is we have these two cars over here after the collision this one will go over there this one will go over here correct now i want you to imagine the same thing but i want you to imagine them with respect to their center of masses right these cars are a little bit heavy on the front side so the center of mass might appeal to you that it is a little bit towards the front where actually it might be the center and that is why this is so but think about that these cars are colliding right consider over here these particles right going in opposite direction right the yeah other arrows obviously you can match up and improve pardon my awesome handwriting right okay so what we are doing over here is we are considering this motion right but let's say we have worn some magical spectacles and these magical spectacles are doing what they are essentially you know showing us their center of masses right so i'll just put on the magical spectacles on look over here what has happened right these particles have come over here you know and without even getting in touch with each other these particles have gone on in their respective directions right so they came over here they came over here right and without getting even touch with each other right they went on their own way correct and that is exactly what we are going to do but now this time around with respect to a real gas in the magical spectacle perspective of an ideal gas didn't understand let's try to do it yeah so this is what we have here we have a real gas and these denote point masses they don't actually look like point masses as in it looks like they have a very teeny tiny certain radius this one over here right but just for now for the sake of the concept assume that they are indeed point masses so we have the real particles and we have the a uh, same motion studied from the point mass perspective right you are basically studying this entire motion as if we have worn a special magical spectacle and now we see point masses instead of all the solid spheres everywhere so what is happening these are in reality actually colliding there is a surface contact if you see there but when you see this from an ideal perspective right they do not get in touch with each other there is no touch point and they are deflecting without getting in touch with each other why is this happening is this some magic is this some sorcery no these are not actually ideal particles it just won a certain magical spectacle which is showing you the center of mass of these real particles which indeed are getting in touch with each other right okay moving forward right let's look at it further think about it what is happening it is the same diagram that we had over there what is happening the same thing which i conveyed to you correct now let's consider an actual ideal collision an actual ideal collision would look something like this there will be point now obviously this does not look like point mass so just assume them to be point masses okay now consider this one particular this time around what i'm doing is i'm actually assuming a uh, one sphere i'm calling it a i'm assuming another sphere i'm calling it b now, they might be colliding as i showed you a couple of um, seconds ago but this time around i'm basically observing this entire motion right but the frame of reference has been fixed i sat on a i sat i myself have sat on the blue particle right so i cannot see the blue particle actually moving around all i see is everything from the frame of reference of the blue particle so i see the yellow particle colliding and now i sit on it i let time pass by let's say a day let's say two days right so i consider all the possible collisions that could happen all the possible collisions right <coughs> and over here i'm just drawing a boundary of where the touch point happened for the blue and the yellow particle right obviously this is 2d 
right in reality such boundary uh, so boundary spheres for the yellow particle will be surrounding the blue particle all around yeah okay let's move forward and let's see what we have over here so this time around then again what i'm going to do is i'm actually considering this motion which i showed to you previously right where the boundaries and everything were over but that single collision that all the possible collisions wherein i sat on the blue one right and yellow came and collided from all the possible direction right this time around i'm considering the same thing the exact same thing but i'm considering the particles to be ideal i've worn that special magical magical glasses and no now i'm seeing the same motion but i'm seeing it in the frame of an ideal gas right so i see dot masses assume them to be dot masses and this is what i had now this is bizarre right i see that all right it is as if i'm even in an avengers movie and some some cause sort of a shield is around me invisible shield is around me because seems like the yellow dots are not able to come close to me they are all you know deflecting away before getting in touch with me and if i speed this up turns out that there is kind of a sphere that is forming so i inquire right what is happening over here like what is the diameter or what is the radius of the sphere so then i actually you know just uh, you know just i superimpose the two cases when i had the real case i had the ideal case and turns out that this was the blue sphere of radius r right and you can consider any of these spheres the yellow ones right basically that tell you that essentially the total distance over here is r plus r so this green this thing right this green a uh, space where no collision no movement was happening from the ideal perspective this has a radius of 2r okay super interesting but the point is right consider this thing again remember this is exactly what we did this is exactly what we did correct right and we just found out that essentially you know what this entire sphere this entire sphere of radius 2r that is this much volume is the volume where no collision or movement is happening so now when we come over here what do we say that the volume excluded per collision turns out to be essentially what 4 by 3 pi 2r q because it is a it is a sphere with the radius of 2r right and basically doing this cube gives us 8 into r cube right on a similar manner what we can also say is that the volume excluded per particle right because there were two particles involved and we did the calculation for both of them right but turned out we were taking things you know we are counting things twice so volume excluded per particles turns out to be half of this that is basically 4 by 3 into pi r cube into 8 i am writing this 8 separately because this is what this becomes to yeah okay cool now the point is over here right this is the volume excluded per particle now what if you have one mole of the sample what if you had any particles what would you do you would multiply this entire number or this entire expression with what any avogadro's number exactly now think about it we thought that the excluded volume would be the volume of the particles in total the real particles but turns out it is coming out to be four times think over here four times the volume of one particle crazily interesting right that's what that's what we need here right that's what astonishment and then actually thinking about it and realizing oh wow that is the moment in you know all of these things when i get a wow factor for more videos and live lectures on the jee click on the subscribe button now